This is a Everlast boxing bag, which I bought in 1990, no, 2001 from a yard sale for $25. Here's the thing, these things are built to last. Now I'm not affiliated with a company or anything like that. I'm not paying, being paid to do this. Uh, I had this bag in my warehouse and it was filled up with a stuff they put in it, like mattress, whatever it is, it weighed about 25 pounds when you buy them, 30 pounds maybe. But uh, I've since taken that out, it's been hanging outside. Of course, all that went rotten. So what I've done is filled it up with sand, which I've... They come in 25 pound bags, there it is down there. And the thing is with this one, obviously being outside, it's got wet. So that bag, there's got to be about 15 of those 25 pound bags in there, and it's soaking wet. So it probably weighs over 300 pound. And it's, to get it up there, I've got an engine hoist. I don't know if you can see that there in the video. Because that's the only way you can pick it up to get it to the level that you need to. So I can adjust it if I want to do a roundhouse kick, lower down. I don't know if you can see this on the floor there. I've just been doing a workout. As you can probably see from that on the floor, see if I can do it. See how wet it is. Of course, when you're fighting with somebody, they don't weigh 30 pounds, they weigh 200 pounds. So if you're going to take up this uh, Muay Thai kickboxing, fill up the bag with sand. I mean, this thing is actually almost gone like concrete. But so fucking what, you know? If you notice when I need that, it doesn't even move upwards. Duke the weight, well that's how you want it. You're going to train and work out and get every bag. Hopefully you've got a good tree in your garden. But uh, that thing has not split in the, was it, 19 years that I've owned it. Right, this side has worn out a bit. That's where I basically hit it. Right there, that's wearing out. Anyway, that's a good bag. Probably got another 20 years. There you have it.